Inquisitor. How may I help you prepare for our final battle? I'd like to discuss what happened before, Solus. I'm afraid that wouldn't be appropriate at this time. We must focus on what truly matters. Harden your heart to a cutting edge, and put that pain to good use against Corypheus. You really don't let anybody see under that polite mask you wear, do you? You saw more than most. Let me know if I can be of any more help in planning our final fight. A whole temple. I told you. Elves. You did say elves. I am at your service. Who or what are the tradesmen? A following of sympathetic and profit minded individuals who promote local craftsmen and fair importers. A guild of sorts. Good fortune, Inquisitor. Something on your mind? I want to hear more about you. <laughs> and there she goes. Inquisition? Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. It wouldn't be any fun if all this was over so soon. Corypheus believes himself a god. Pride alone demands he not slink off into the shadows. I have faith you will be victorious even so. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, successful against all odds, Victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. Oh, I have plans of my own. As you should. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. I will stand with you in the end, Inquisitor, if you will have me. Samson took everything from those Templars. He corrupted their souls, twisted them into everything they stood against, everything they would have hated. You're letting Samson get to you. And what if I am? The Red Lyrium left Samson's mind unaltered. He knew what he was doing. He dares speak as though it were a mercy. The man's a monster. Dagna is far too kind a jailer for the likes of him. Samson is everything you say, but it's over. You have to let this go. Over for us, perhaps. For Samson. Not for those still controlled by Corypheus. The Red Templars needed to be torn down. We've broken Corypheus's army. I might have known some of them. If my life had gone differently. I might have been one of them. 
Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you had not been at the Conclave? If you'd never become the Inquisitor? Sometimes, my life would be less complicated, less dangerous. Or it could be worse. There would still be chaos, and that was meant to sound comforting. I can see how it wouldn't. <laughs> At all. You've led us this far. Many owe you their lives. Whether or not the Maker sent you, you are needed here. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. I'm glad you haven't lost your faith. I've questioned it at times, but I found comfort in faith when life offered little. Corypheus will retaliate. It's only a matter of time. We must draw strength wherever we can. Unless he gets bored and surrenders. Any chance of that? <laughs> I doubt it. reports of the events at the Temple of Mathal, Inquisitor. It sounds magnificent. I hope we can explore it fully once Corypheus is defeated. We got what we needed from the Temple. Everything else can wait. Of course. As long as waiting does not turn into ignoring the temple, or destroying it. Inquisitor! Inquisitor. We have to... What can I do for you, your inquisitorialness? See? What did I tell you? Thank you. Going well, I hope. What's been going on? Just waiting to get back out there. Later then.